Alright guys, so I'm back with another gameplay video series here. I feel like I have, I, I, from the update video that I did a while back, uh, I did say that I was going to take a break from the whole gameplay video once, a video one video a day, and then this whole thing about uh, making more quality versus quantity videos and so yeah well that's like i couldn't uh, i'm still working on a couple of uh, videos right now but um like uh working on the things like okay, some games like the um, marvel snap and also like a review on marvel snap and also a uh kind of a review look at on um, the uh, new character for Dome Keeper. Well, I haven't made that video in quite a while, so here's a video on Against the Storm here. Um, it's a... So from my wish, from my Steam wishlist, this game had a very high review. Uh, a lot of people reviewed it. Uh, and it is a base building game um, and base building slash survival game so there is a survival aspect that makes it more urgent like, so it's not simply a base building game and then you do have to fulfill several goals and etc etc but we're just gonna jump into it but do know that uh, I do have some videos uh, like better higher quality videos out if you will but uh, in the short uh, in the near future so yeah keep that in mind and uh, we can get into this against the storm here so I probably won't be able to uh, depends on how the how the gameplay is and all that uh, I might or might not uh, do the full gameplay like on everything about uh, against the storm here all right so i did the uh, tutorial already on this game uh, just checking out how the gameplay is like um, so we do have the normal stuff like uh, wood cutting stone cutting uh, harvester and scavenger and then we have like uh, some workstation stuff um, warehouse stuff all that um, and so I think I'm still kind of in the tutorial phase I only did the first tutorial but but we can go on to uh, continue here so this game has uh, it's kind of it's like it it's like there is a god and then you're trying to please the god if I'm not mistaken <laughs> all right I, and uh, oh yes a small small farm I, I, it told me to build this small farm here. Wait, what? Where did the farm go? Okay, and then build this here. Okay, so you have there are three different um, species that you <laughs> like. So you have humans, the uh, beavers, and lizards. So it's quite a interesting mix mix of species that we have to manage here. Oh yeah, and then here are, uh, so in the first tutorial, uh, it gave me eight different missions that I have to accomplish before finishing the whole um, thing, finish the whole camp, not the campaign, the chapter here. So for example, here, uh, I need the small farm and a farm field or six of them. And then it'll give me like some humans and some um, barrels. So what you what I want is like this reputation to go up here, and then for this 
uh, Queen's impatience to stay as slow as possible, and the the way that you can reduce this Queen's impatience is by increasing the reputation. So that's what you want to do, I guess. So and also here, um, I can assign people into these things. So far, I not quite sure like what the like what what each um species or what each uh yeah what each species no not species what she, what each uh or are, are they species i i guess they are species like yeah i'm not quite sure like what they're good at and what they're not good at so i've been just assigning them randomly uh, so we can deliver this, and then the next objective is we need to uh, build some wood cutting and shelter. So this we do get our shelter here. Uh, so the shelter has to be facing the hearth or the thing in the middle here, and we need stone for it. Okay, so this is generating clay. <laughs> so we need to find some stone. And what's the other one that we need? Wood cutting. Oh, we need two wood cutting. Okay, right. Yeah, we, we I do want more wood cutting so that I can actually uh, start chopping these trees down and I can unlock these nodes. These are called, what are they called? Groves? Uh, I think? Something like that. So that uh, I can unlock more things that are in the fog here. This is running this. Let's, let's do that. So you always want someone free from being assigned to anything to be uh, to be just there uh, as like a builder uh, because uh, if they don't have anything to do they will automatically build so yeah so you don't want to assign everybody to their to end to a row five barrels per minute let's go for this more stuff in the farms hopefully that's correct what do you produce in the farms vegetable and grain okay so i don't understand how you get i got the stone out how did i get the stone Okay, I have to be like, I have to really build my shelters. Okay, so this is good. We got some parts, we got some beavers. Beaver, getting beavers, getting more people is always good. Trappers camp. Trappers. Oh, I need to unlock it first. Right. Trapper's camp. I need more space, but we can we can do that. I guess it's a uh, it's a little bit it's a little bit too squished up here. Okay, we can add person to here. I need some decorations. Do these things give me more? The more someone grows, the more demand there is for beauty. Now let's just build some regular decorations. I don't know, like for the decorations, I mean like for these kind of games, unless you really want that decoration, though those like really 
good decoration. I don't see a reason for you to go for like this very like, this very um, insane decoration thing. Wait, what? What is this? No deposits nearby. Okay. Slick shell brood bunzer. Okay, so they're stationary. Okay, I thought they would. I thought you would actually be like hunting them, but I guess not. We're gonna take the stone. Okay, what's the quest again? Oh, I need the meat. Okay, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Oh, I do want some uh, harvester and scavenger. Any scavenge stuff nearby? Okay, never mind. So these things are for scavenger. Okay, order is complete. Smokehouse. They have to produce 20 jerky. Enable meat in the jerky recipe. Smoke house. <laughs> this is really cramped, but uh, we can we can do. Okay, you can leave. Then we can put someone in the smokehouse. Okay, you can leave as well. Oh yeah, roads do make um, your, your villagers Move fa a little bit faster. Okay, so this. Well. No <laughs> area for this to go. I have to wait for this area to open up before I see what is there, and then you can see if there is a uh, um, something there for us to to do. Okay, so we can do that, or you like we can do this. I think we should still be cutting down trees. Take this this guy off for now since she, she's not doing anything. What is happening here? Okay, I think some of my villagers got struck by lightning. Yep. 
yeah so that is a thing uh, so they do get st struck by lightning and die so uh, yeah like I, it just happens randomly and they just you don't know there's no pop-up that shows that someone has died but just someone just dies Enable meat in the jerky recipe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. I see. Choose a cornerstone. Gain grain bags. Specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production increased by plus one. Sure. Okay, let's get rid of that. We'll specifically work on grain. Uh, okay, newcomers. Uh, we'll take the lizard. There's this is. We're still working on these trees here. Oh, we can build another hearth. Okay, maybe we want to do this trade thing. I need more room though. Orders are complete. Okay, next up is brewery. Brewery. Actually, we can move this just over here because... Oh, well, I'll wait for it to finish building and then I can, I'll move it again. I'll move it up there. I think I'm gonna want... Another farm. Wait, I can't move this thing? Wait, what? Okay, okay. I see. It cannot be moved. Okay, we will we'll just do one here and I'll do this. And more trapping stuff. Okay, no, no vegetables, please. <laughs> I finished that a long time ago. Oops. Tavern. All right, well, I can put the tavern like right here. Okay, 
Okay, so there's this thing. Uh, so, okay, it's called the glade. This glade contains a threat, but it also gives plenty of rewards in return. So I think I might need to start working on that uh, because I think for this this last thing, last uh, mission here, I have to actually go over there. Uh, well, I think I do need the extra people. Uh, okay, so... So the game sometimes goes into this black screen thing. I don't know what what's up with that, but... Those are also... These are also hunting stuff. So I think for the resource gathering buildings, we can move them. But for the <laughs> other, like, production buildings, it's just... As, as soon as you build on them, uh, as soon as you build them, they're, 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 they're just there. They're set in stone. Harvester... Okay, ta tavern, we still need stone. Or, or rather we need resources to to build oh oh because we have people who are homeless they're dying probably that's why okay can't do anything Oh, as long as it's within this whole area, it's good. I see. Cannibalism. <gasps> uh, we'll, we'll take the nest. What? Why are there still homeless? It's like the real life. You can never solve homeless people. You can never provide. No, never. Mind. <laughs> I think that's a bad joke. Uh, the, uh, the. I mean, after studying architecture for <laughs> so many years, for ten years now. The stone. The stone is mined out ag again. Can move this over here. Uh. What do I need for this? I need fabric. That's why. Planks and fabric.
Uh, so, anyways, as I was saying, after studying architecture for <laughs> for over ten years now, I'm like just everything is about the homeless people, the homeless, the underappreciated, the less wealthy. So yeah, that's like <laughs> everything. It's uh, like I, everything can trigger me like thinking about these uh, the homeless people, the native, uh, Native Americans, the native the uh, Aboriginal people. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it's like okay, <laughs> okay. I I get it, right? I I, I do get it problem but but enough is enough I think okay I just need resting by the fire holy shit I need this pla okay it's it's going it's going It's being constructed finally. Copper bars? Uh, sure. Alright, we're gonna do this and Every evening, a gleeman tells stories about past glories and times before the Great Civil War. Plus three to global resolve. Same building effects do not stack. Okay, so people are going... I think it's just a time thing. We just need to wait it out for the people to actually... To actually um, get the uh, go to the tavern. Okay, no need for the bricks, I think. Orders is ready. Uh, this is already done. Oh, what? Okay, we only we only did seven, I think. All house, all houses have room for one more villagers. Hostility from woodcutters is decreased by 4. Oh, okay, I, I, I think I actually understand. So we're chopping down the trees to build our, our city, but, to our town, but the forest is actually, or the elements is actually against us. So we're fighting them because, and then the weather is prior prioritizing killing the people who are chopping down the trees first. Meat production increased. Herbalist camp. Okay, road, paved road, more speed. This is actually some like, <laughs> like a noticeable difference, 15% instead of the only 5%. Can produce some sort of potion thing. 
New Citadel upgrade. So this means that we can actually upgrade our hearth. Okay, okay, so that was a tutorial town. The world is a vast, ever-changing place, and at its heart lies the smoldering city. Your goal as a uh, viceroy is to help rebuild it and secure the future of the queen's subjects. Use the resources you've gathered so far to construct the obsidian archive in this modern city. What? What the fuck? This, this is insane. I just there's like after the tutorial, there's a whole it zooms out and then you see the whole the everything, the whole world. The basic currency in the realm, workers are eager to exchange their labor for food for their families. It can be used to buy upgrades in the smoldering city food stockpile. You gain permanent minus two percent to the speed the average of Korean's patience grows. Records about great vice viceroys are kept. Unlocks deeds. Okay, these are, I guess, uh, quests or just rewards that. Achievements, quests. And you get experience from them. Okay, and then sometimes you get something else. Harmony, comfort. So I guess the decorations do come into uh, effect. This world is governed by the eternal blight storm cycle. It is almost upon us, so no caravans are allowed to embark. Click on the button in the lower right corner of the screen to finish the cycle. Okay, so it employs some like a civil like a civ six type mechanic where there's a turn thing. Blight storm is coming. Your summons have been abandoned, and people are returning to the citadel. Oh, oh, oh! I see. Oh my god. Okay, so everyone is from the citadel, and we're. Heading out, like heading like farther and farther out of the citadel to explore. Okay, now the real game begins. <laughs> You're almost ready to venture out on your, out on your own. Choose any map tile inside your embarkation embarkation range to begin. Royal outpost. The proximity of a royal, royal outpost makes it easier to communicate with the crown. The pool of order choices will increase by one. Glaze have an increased chance of including fertile soil. Okay, I'm gonna tr see what this is. To embark, you must first choose a caravan that will become the foundation of your town's population. 
Next, choose the difficulty. The higher the risk, the greater the reward, but beware an experience and inexperience of white story won't last around the higher difficulty. Stellar Pioneer Veteran Rice Locked. Let's try the Pioneer. Now, I'll, I'll try the more reputation required. What? Lastly, you use all of your embarkation points to take extra goods with you. You're finally ready to embark on your own. Remember, there's always a way out. Ex experience and adapt. May the storm be gentle on you, wise Roy. <sighs> okay. So we can actually unlock other species other than the three that we have here. Oh, we're, we're choosing either this one or this one. I see. Oh, I think it's a proximity, right? Okay, let's take it slow and try this for now. What? Trees give more wood? Severity is taxing. What about this? It's also taxing? The fuck? <laughs> I mean, you can use your embarkation points to bring extra goods, blueprints, or perks with your caravan. Oh, I see. Anyways, yeah, we'll just go with this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.